Opportunities abound in the Democratic Republic of Congo DRC. The country is endowed with arable lands, rich mineral deposits, and an insatiable market for goods and services required by the almost 100 million population. In April 2021, President Uhuru Kenyatta of Kenya and President Felix Chisakedi of the DRC signed a bilateral agreement that would see greater collaboration between the two countries. The agreement culminated in a 15-day trade mission to the DRC organized by the Kenya and DRC governments and facilitated by Equity Group. I believe it is a moment of rare regional and continental pride as we witness our local enterprises coming together in the spirit of one Africa, one people. And the theme, Unlocking Trade, Tourism and Investment Opportunities in DRC and the Great Lakes region, the trade mission attracted more than 300 Kenyan investors, entrepreneurs and small and medium enterprises SMEs. The delegates first jetted into Kinshasa, a metropolis that is home to more than 16 million people. They were led by Kenya's Trade Cabinet Secretary Betty Miner, Equity Group Managing Director and CEO Dr. James Mwangi, Equity Group Chairman Professor Isaac Masharia, and the host, Equity BCDC Managing Director Celesta Mukeba. We are very, very entrepreneurial. We, are, we seek uh, new opportunities. And I've actually met Kenyans who have been uh, in this market uh, doing business uh, for a while uh, already. So this is, I think, for me, a great opportunity. And we present the opportunity in Congo as an opportunity for Kenyans to come and set up here. The Kenyan entrepreneurs, captains of industry, and government agencies' representatives were joined in the business forums, exhibitions, panel sessions, and site visits by more than 2,000 Congolese counterparts who were also keen to forge business partnerships. J'ai la ferme conviction que la mission commerciale RDC Kenya visant à rapprocher nos deux pays et de nature à renforcer nos relations en matière d'échanges commerciaux transfrontaliers facilités à ce jour par la zone de libre échange continentale. It's not every other time you get such opportunities where people open doors, actually walk in, see the opportunities, come back home and invite you to go and, you know, uh, see what is uh, available for you to do. And you can see, this is a very big team. We have farmers here, we have engineers here, we have architects here, we have doctors here. It's a whole team. Just come and look for a niche for yourself, deliver on that, partner with the people on the ground and you're good to go. It's a very good thing that uh, Equity are involved in this and I must say congratulations for holding our hands and bringing us. We have a time now to sit back and you know say these are the opportunities that we had uh, and this is what we did. Giving a comprehensive perspective of opportunities in the DRC, Dr. Mongi said the trade mission was advised by the need for business decisions to be made guided by facts on the ground. Today we started uh, the Kenya DRC trade mission. We brought 253 Kenyan entrepreneurs. They are being hosted by over 2,000 Congolese uh, business people. And the objective is to one, uh, to get uh, Kenyan entrepreneurs to see the opportunity in DLC. The second one is to forge partnerships and collaboration with the entrepreneurs of DLC so that uh, we promote joint ventures. Dr. Mwangi put in perspective the economic situation in the DRC, illustrating that the vast country is where Kenya was when only 6% of the population was banked. DLC from a financial sector is where Kenya was in the early 90s. We're talking about 6% of the population being banked. 
94% excluded. So this is a market we can grow very rapidly, much faster than we grew uh, in Kenya, where we moved from number 66 to become number one largest bank in Kenya. What Equity has done, uh, I think, is one of a first, because Equity has been able to demystify the whole the whole trade across DLC. Kenya's Trade Chief Administrative Secretary, Lawrence Garanja, loaded equity for partnering with the DRC and Kenyan governments for what he termed as part of a greater vision of the Africa free trade area. Kenya is keen to enhance trade relations through COMESA, tripartite, uh, and African free continental trade area. And as I've said, we are pleased to uh, welcome DRC into the East African community because by so doing, we'll be having a market of more than 200 million people within the East African region. That is a market and I will be asking the people of DLC and the people of Kenya to look at that opportunity which is coming. We want more of this because it's bringing like-minded people together. What is also the missing link is normally money. How do you de-risk? An opportunity. Working with equity as a partner, we're able to understand off-takers, we're able to de-risk by making sure that the money is available, we're bringing like-minded people together. Equity is a lubricant in all of this. And by facilitating and going at different government levels, we're removing a lot of wrinkles and allowing us to do business. Just love it. Day-long discussions in sessions in Kinshasa, Lubumbashi, Goma and Bujimai addressed various topics with strong panels of experts analyzing their respective sectors. An exhibition site was annexed to the plenary where traders from both countries also had an opportunity to showcase their products and services. The delegates had an opportunity to network with their Congolese counterparts in matchmaking sessions and business site visits in all four cities. Equity BCDC MD Mukeba was at hand to discuss how the entrepreneurs can partner with the bank. The DRC is a country of opportunity in the sense that uh, the number of population, we are talking about 100 million people, uh, and it's growing uh, at least 3% per annum. So that shows uh, the edge room in terms of growth, especially when we speak about 6% only the banking penetration. So 94% uh, is the potential of growth. It is refreshing to see that Africans are going to Africa. And we call them same as we call someone else investor. It is a very good thing. I love the mission. Participants had a chance to interact and appreciate First hand, the opportunities that exist in trade, manufacturing, agriculture, mining, tourism, IT, among other sectors. This mission is very good because uh, it is also an opportunity, opportunity for people of Africa to be together for that, um, that good business that we need to, to do between Africa's. Equity Bank is now like a medium, like between us in our invest. Kenya's ambassador to the DRC, George Masafu, expressed his satisfaction with the mission. Kenyan businessmen are, come, are not coming here to do business by themselves. They are coming to partner with Congolese uh, partners here. So the bank is also to, going to finance the Congolese uh, businessmen, just as they are going to finance the Kenyan businessmen. And we believe that with strong trade ties, the relationships between our two countries are going to be very strong. Speaking at the Lubumbashi leg of the mission, Deputy Governor of Katanga, Jean Claude Kampfwa, thanked Equity BCDC for the initiative to bring the Kenyans. Je tiens donc à saluer l'implication du groupe Equity Bank et Equity BCDC dans l'organisation de cette rencontre qui, reconnaissons-le, Rêver toute son importance comme étape cruciale devant permettre l'éclosion
d'initiatives régionales favoriser les synergies et la, et, et la création de valeurs pour nos deux pays et pour notre belle province. Everything in Congo is an opportunity, if I have to say so. Everything is an opportunity. There's no field in this country you can tap in and not get successful. Everything, no matter what you think about. Because just take the population, 100 million. We don't want a market of 100 million customers. It's already available. You think of agriculture, you think of education, you think of medicine, you think of any all the field are in need in DRC. Actually, Group Chief Commercial Officer Polycarp Igade said the mission has opened doors for Congolese entrepreneurs to visit Kenya. We come to seek partnership. We come to embrace you, to give you a normal African hug and to shake hands as equal partners. So we expect that there'll be a lot of business from DRC coming to Kenya and a lot of Kenyan business coming to DRC. At the opening ceremony of the Goma Conference, the governor of North Kivu, General Constant Kongbanima, said the DRC government is setting up economic zones to attract foreign direct investment. Et vous souhaitez la bienvenue à l'occasion de la cérémonie d'ouverture de la mission commerciale Kenya République démocratique du Congo 2021. En effet, cette mission organisée conjointement par la République Sœur du Kenya et de la nôtre, regroupant plusieurs hommes d'affaires, tant Kenyans que Congolais, a pour mission la promotion et la consolidation des relations commerciales et économiques entre nos deux États. A conduit cette mission et aux hommes d'affaires Kenyans pour le choix judiciaire de la République démocratique du Congo, comme destination de prédilection pour les affaires en général et en particulier la province du Nord Kivu. Equi Group CEO Dr. Mwangi said the bank has set aside 5 billion US dollars for entrepreneurs to invest in farming, tourism, manufacturing, logistics, among other sectors. There would be no better force of changing Africa than the business community. The business community all entrepreneurs, organizes, resources, takes the risks and create products and services for the consumers and in the process they create wealth. The real cure to African challenge is wealth. Citing Serena Hotel, Goma, as an example of cross-border investments, Dr. Mongi said Goma and the surrounding region has a huge tourism investment potential. Hasten your steps and invest in uh, DLC. The tourism opportunity here is big. I was envious last night to see the hospitality in the lake. It's only by collaboration and partnerships that we can progress and take um, the continent to the next uh, level. East and Central Africa region has a long history of trade that has continued to the present. Indeed, the DRC is the sixth largest market of Kenyan goods. Beyond having an embassy, we have now brought in a commercial at a chief to confirm the importance of this region, Goma region. From the month of October, we started direct flights from Nairobi to Goma. When we started, we were doing two flights a week. Right now, we are doing three, and we are looking forward to having daily fright. Although the Eastern DRC has been the subject of news on insecurity, the delegates learned that intensity of conflict is low. In Bujimai, the governor of Kasai Oriental, Janet Muswamba, said ECDCDC is an asset. She said the province has the longest section of the mighty Congo River and there are opportunities for investments in agriculture, mining, tourism, water and energy utilities. Je voudrais également saluer le membre du gouvernement provincial et plus particulièrement 
celle des opérateurs économiques de ma province, dont la présence traduit tout l'intérêt qu'ils attachent à l'ouverture au monde, à travers les échanges commerciaux pour des conditions de vie meilleures dans notre espace commun. The partnership between Kenya on the eastern seaboard of the Indian Ocean and the DRC on the Atlantic Ocean has opened age-old trade routes. For the delegates who participated in the trade mission, the initiative was an eye-opener that will herald a new beginning for Eastern and Central Africa. Kenya <laughs> na tunafanya ninajua kama tutafanya ma partenariat ile tunaita partenariat kwa sababu niko frame international najua kama nitakuwa international kabisa kwa sababu pamoja na wa entrepreneur kuuta kutoka Kenya tutaungana pamoja na tutaendelesha uchumi wetu kwenye Kongo pia na kwenye Nairobi I would like to add the Kenyan population the people who can do business here in Congo, there are a lot of opportunities here. Please come and let's move together. Let's exploit these opportunities so that we can move forward as a, as a, you know, as a community in Kenya. A big appreciation to the government of DRC and to the government of Kenya. First time, bringing 250 companies from Kenya to come and see the opportunities here. And Equity BCDC being able to show us the way, telling us we've been here before seven years. This is how we've been able to prosper. This is how we've been able to transform lives in this economy. And telling us, come, we want to do business with you. That is not something to be taken lightly, getting all of us here. This was a very good call for both countries and uh, especially I thank Equity for facilitating this. Because for many participants I've been able to talk to, it's an high opener for them. 